Well, the development process for Formula One car obviously starts at a conceptual stage, sometimes on Adrian's drawing board, sometimes on the different designers uh, within the aero group, uh, because obviously the aerodynamics are the predominant performance factor on the car. Um, concepts will be created um, and then we'll either run within CFD um, or within the tunnel. Um, and then from there the results will be analysed uh, and decided whether they uh, are to make it through to full-scale production onto the car. For an entire car, we usually start development for next year's car around about August, September time. So it's pretty much a five month window to develop um, a new Formula One car for a new season. Actually for 2014, that's a bit different because it's, there are some quite big rule changes. So we've started work a little bit earlier, but typically it would be a five month window to develop a new car. From the first race to the last race in the season, in the Formula One season, we did getting on for 30,000 design changes to the car. So on average, that's about a thousand design changes per week going through the design office. We have an awful lot of rigs that we will simulate race situations and sometimes triple or quadruple the mileage that a component would see um, through a test cycle. So the sign-off on any um, you know, safety critical component is, is very, very vigilant. And of course, from a reliability point of view as well, um, it's extremely important to test as many components as we can before uh, signing them off to go onto a race car. It's about deciding out of all the projects and all the things we want to change, what's going to give us the biggest bang for the book, what's going to add the best performance to the car for the time and the resource required. The development race never stops.